Hello everyone, I am Kavin Krishna Prasad from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today, we are going to see about how to create custom lineage in CDGC. The agenda for the today's session is, what is a custom lineage? What are all the types of association available to populate lineage in CDGC? The steps involved in creating custom lineage, followed by that we have a demonstration on how to create custom lineage in CDGC from scratch. Let's get started. So, custom lineage is used to view or populate the data flow from one object to another within the source or across the source system. Custom lineage uses input file as a zip file which has a CSV file inside with all the object information along with the association types. We can use the custom lineage where there is no ETL tool supported for the particular source system or to populate our own custom data flow across the asset. So basically the need of custom lineage concept is to populate our own custom diagram or data flow visualization across the asset. And we are defining the level of assignment or linkage through the association types. So these association types tells you what type of lineage we are going to populate among the source and target. In CDGC, there are five types of associations. They are core dot resource parent child, which is from catalog source to schema, core dot data source parent child, which is from schema to table, core dot data set to data element parentship, which is from table to column, core dot data set data flow, which is from table to table, core dot directional data flow, which is from column to column. Custom lineage population task is broadly classified into two main parts. One is creating a link file with the right association type and another is creating a custom catalog source in metadata command center. Now let's see what is a link file and how to create it. Link file is nothing but a CSV file which has the below headers source target and association. Source refers to the origin or from where the data is coming from. Target refers to the destination or where the data is going to. Association field refers to the type of link between source and target, that is column level or table level associations. In source and target field, we should enter the reference ID of the assert as an input value. Reference ID is a unique ID which can be fetched from data governance and catalog UI. To get the reference ID of particular assert, navigate to data governance and catalog. Under the properties tab of an assert, you can able to find the reference ID. Once we have the reference ID along with the association types, then creating a CSV file is an easy task. In the CSV file, enter the relevant asset information along with the association types. We should make sure that in the source and target field, reference ID of the asset should be entered as an input value. Once the CSV file is ready with the, all the asset related informations, then we should zip it as generic links.zip. We recommend you to use the same name which we've been using for creating a CSV file and zip file. So now the first part is done where we created a link file and zipped it. Now the next step is to create a custom catalog source in metadata command center. Since we don't have a native or predefined scanner for custom lineage, so we need to create a custom catalog source to run a custom lineage job. At next, we'll see the step by step process to create a custom catalog source in metadata command center. Once the custom catalog source is created by using that, we can upload the zip file to populate the custom lineage in CDGC. Now let's build a custom lineage data flow between tables and columns. Here, we have an Oracle and MS SQL catalog source where there is no data transformations or data flow between the objects. Now let's try to populate a custom lineage between tables and columns. I am taking a table called order item from Oracle catalog source and a table called custom data type test from MS SQL catalog source where there is no lineage between these tables. Similarly, I am taking a column from Oracle catalog source called customer underscore ID and a column called column one from MS SQL catalog source. These columns belong to different table of same catalog source type. Now I am going to populate the lineage between those objects. To create a custom lineage, the first part is to create a CSV file with the all relevant assert information. I have created a CSV file for the same tables and column with the right association types. Here in the CSV file, for the first row, I have given the association type as code.dataset data flow, where I am going to populate the lineage across the tables. On the second row, I gave the association type as code.directional data flow. Since I am going to populate the lineage between these columns. Now the CSV file is ready. Let's zip it as generic links.zip file. I have zipped this as a generic links.zip file. Inside the zip file, we can able to see the links file. So now the first step is ready where we have created a zip file, created a CSV file and zipped it. And the next step is to create a custom catalog source in metadata command center. To do so, navigate to metadata command center, new, customization, custom catalog source type. 
Here, I'm creating a custom catalog source type for custom lineage. So I'm giving the name as custom lineage. Click on save to create a custom catalog source type. Once the custom catalog source type is created, click on new. Under the catalog source, search the custom catalog source type which you have created in the last step. Click on create. Here, enter the name of the catalog source. Since I am creating a custom lineage between MSQL and Oracle, so I am giving the catalog source name as custom lineage. We have a two options to upload file for the catalog source. One is direct upload through the, through the browse icon and another is giving a agent machine information along with the path where the zip file is located. So here I am directly uploading the zip file through the browse icon. Once the file is uploaded, click on next. Here I am not making any changes, then click on save. Upon saving the catalog source, you will get an option to run the catalog source. Click on run. So this job will take couple of minutes to get complete. Once the job is completed, it's completed successfully, then we can able to see the expected lineage in data governance and catalog. So now the job is successfully completed. Let's navigate to data governance and catalog tool and see whether the lineage is populated as expected. Let me refresh the assert. Now I can able to see the lineage between these two tables. Similarly, let me go to the columns and check. Yes, we can able to see the expected lineage between the columns and tables. So these are the steps to create a custom lineage in CDGC. You can create your own CSV file with the required assert information and its association types. Then you can run the catalog source to populate the custom lineage in CDGC. You can refer to the below KB article for more information on creating custom lineage in CDGC. We would like to hear your feedback for this session. You can give your feedback on the channel which is in the screen. Thank you. Have a nice day.